We will talk about osteochondrosis. What means osteochondrosis? It is group of disease which affects growing bones in children and adolescents. And what is the idea of osteochondrosis? Idea is that blood supply of growth plates of the bones are disrupted. So blood supply of bones are disrupted. It is causes inflammation and death of bone tissue. After some period of time, repairing and regeneration occurs and inflammation resides it's common resolution but before this happens it causes pain it causes swelling it causes discomfort and loss of function of joint also so it's osteochondrosis and main main key point here is osteochondrosis affects usually children around one percent of children what causes osteochondrosis there is no clear um, causes but some risk factors are repetitive movements repetitive traumas genetics has also its role and nutrition and repetitive traumas during sport is important part of osteochondrosis and what bones and what joints are affected most most common lo location of osteochondrosis is knee joints and it is called osgood schlatter disease um, when uh, osteochondrosis affects knee joints usually it affects both of joints in, and in, in many cases osteochondrosis affects multiple joints and it's bilateral but it can affect single joints also other parts other locations of osteochondrosis are hip and ankle and elbows also shoulders also uh, and sometimes spine also involved so location can be almost any large joints where person can have repetitive trauma or have repetitive movements usually these large joints are affected now let's say about most common symptoms most common first and most common symptom of osteochondrosis is pain pain of the joint person feels pain and this pain is severe sometimes sometimes it's more mild uh, another second most common symptom is swelling and when you when you press it's tender so you feel uh, that joint is swelling and when you press it's tender it is sign of inflammation and stiffness muscle stiffness and joint stiffness what means stiffness it means that for person it's difficult to move this joint difficult to move its stiffness and more severe form of stiffness is joint catching or locking it means that there's sudden blockage sudden then complete blockage of some position and person is unable to move his hand or his leg it is uh, joint catching or lo uh, locking it's fourth most common symptom and it's severe symptom and weakness person feels weak uh, affected bones and affected muscles so weakness is also common symptom what can be complication why is important osteochondrosis it's important because if left untreated it can cause deformities of bone and different lengths of um, limbs and it's important problem that's why uh, treatment is important and early diagnosis is important how we diagnose osteochondrosis uh, usually based on symptoms but x-ray also informative or mri also informative uh, it can show increased density which means sclerosis or fragmentation 
or bone growth pattern alterations they are signs of osteochondrosis and related disease is osteochondritis which commonly used interchangeable because they are very similar disease but uh, we can remember very simple that osteochondritis is more severe during osteochondritis we can more inflammation and we have segment of bone and cartilage is separated from surrounding tissues you can see osteochondritis so osteochondritis is more severe condition of osteochondrosis and osteochondritis can affect not only children but also adults and older adults also especially athletes who has repetitive traumas so that's how we can remember that osteochondritis is more severe form it has more inflammatory component inflammation is more pronounced and it affects older adults also and we have segment of bone is separated from surrounding tissues now let's say about treatment of osteochondri osteochondrosis and osteochondritis also they have similar uh, treatments in many cases first is rest avoid additional stress on affected joint avoid additional pressure on affected joint so rest is very important first is rest avoid repetitive trauma it's very important part second is medications ibuprofen or naproxen Ibu ibuprofen is used most commonly if we asking what is the most commonly used medication during osteochondrosis or osteochondritis is ibuprofen what is the second most common medication used during osteochondrosis is naproxen naproxen has longer acting action uh, it's a long acting drug compared to ibuprofen and if person has gastrointestinal problems when intake non-steroidal such as ibuprofen or naproxen then option is topical diclofenac gel also known as voltaren gel or voltaren gel so topical diclofenac is another option it does not uh, irritate gastrointestinal tract actually it can irritate but our uh, effect is minimal it can be seven times less systemic effect compared to uh, when you intake ibuprofen or naproxen orally so topical diclofenac has less side effects that's why it's important and selecoxib is important medication also it's newer non-steroidal which is more specific and which has less gastrointestinal side effects and if person has risk of gastrointestinal side effects then selecoxib is considered an option but most important and most commonly used medications are ibuprofen and naproxen third most commonly used is diclofenac and other option is a selecoxib also exercise is important braces is important if required and cast and orthotactic devices also uh, and second line treatment is steroid injections if required if other treatments fails and surgery is last option prognosis is usually favorable um, most people will require re recover from the osteochondrosis after some period of time without any problem but if left untreated and if repetitive traumas are uh, continuous then uh, osteochondrosis can last into adulthood also it's possible and it's possible that it can cause uh, bone damage and this bone damage can be permanent in some cases 
Uh, what is prevention? Prevention is regular physical activity, avoid repetitive traumas, and if if you follow any sports, then um, back support, wrist guards, and elbow pads and shoulder supports are important. You can use if you need them. If you have risk uh, such repetitive traumas. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.